everybody doing today? It's a beautiful day out here in Tennessee. What'd you buy, Katie? Get up in the frame, boo. Get up you in the frame. I can't. Our chairs are almost touching. Uh, no, they're not even close. It's too they're close. not even close. There. Well, guys, my, my office, we would have been doing this in my special. <laughs> but so we put together the uplift desk and um, the, mm. there's a malfunction. We did every, every test you could do and there's actually a malfunction in the, we think the, the electronic thing. parts are not working properly. It's yeah. air coding and it won't let us reset. Base. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. Yeah, it's really it's annoying. Like two because hours. It was horrible. It. We did it was everything a, right. Still better than building the sauna. Still better than if building the sauna. If there was an option to have had someone deliver it and build it, I would have paid for that option. But hopefully next time you guys see us, we will be in the mm -hmm. podcast room. And it's actually, it there's, there's good signs. But that's the podcast room. I don't know if we'll be able to. Guy, come yet. closer. You have so much space. My butt is not that big. Ugh. Jesus, social distancing over here. I got a haircut today, by the way. I had to wear a mask, which I, I hated. I haven't had a haircut in seven months. But you don't have to keep a fade Dude, up. I, it's a mess. You should just shave your head. I haven't dyed my hair. Shave There's your head. There's like three grays, maybe more. Go to the, go to the Nashville days. Autonomous Zone. My gray hairs, do you see? 74. No, actually, not bad. I mean, there's a few in there, but... Can't really see them. You know what? Getting old is a part of life. And this is a great, great, thank you so much. Great, great segue into what we're gonna be talking Why, why'd about. Why did you say thank you so much? Huh? You just said thank you so much. For you. Oh, okay. Because it led to, it's like I have to carry this whole team on my shoulders. It's because it led to our topic. Our topic? Which is, is fake bullshit on YouTube and bullshit on Instagram. And the reason I bring that up, so you know who Athlean X is? You probably don't. So Jeff Cavalier is probably the most popular, successful YouTuber in the history of YouTube fitness. Bigger than the twins ever were, bigger than I ever was, bigger than Oracle ever was, bigger than CT ever was. This guy gets millions of views every video. And he has his own little style. He's He's accomplished, he has a great resume. So anyway, um, first things first is he kind of got caught allegedly using fake weights. Where he, de and the dude's a strong dude, but he pulled 495 off the floor, like, like it was nothing. And I, I mean, even when I'm adjusting the kid's weights at like 250, you, you know, I have to brace myself, not to, not to, but he was literally demonstrating with 495. So obviously a lot of people are thinking it's fake weights. They called him out on that. And then another YouTuber came out um, and said, hey, I also think he's on HRT. Then someone, I'm watching, I looked it up today. Then someone, because I want to know what this is about. Someone actually found a post of him back in the day, I guess saying or insinuating that he was on or is all for HRT. So now... He's the best guy. And I'm going to tell you why it's happening. Um, basically, it's the little guys trying to get clout for taking down the big guy. And then you have the guys who literally hang off of Jeff's nuts, no names mentioned, who are coming to his rescue to get even more clout by being the anti-clout chasers, clout kryptonite. Real quick, you're screaming. I like screaming. That's why I'm glad our room is on a different story than our kids' room. That was awkward in the apartment. But it's in my ear. Just saying. So anyway, what do you think? Who really cares? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We're breaking down society right now. You don't understand. Like, and if we didn't talk about this, it'd be a really boring fucking show. I know, but really, like, who cares if the guy's lifting fake weights? Like, mind your own business. It's, if you don't want to watch this shit, don't watch this shit. So here's the deal, though. So he's the top guy. So what the, the argument is... By people using fake weights, it discredits those and makes it less significant when people use real weights and do real things. So it makes things unattainable or far-fetched for the average lifter, putting an unrealistic expectation. Same with the guys who they Plastic argue. Plastic surgery, breast enlargements, Botox. I'm a fan of all of them. I mean, like, we're a world of fakery. <laughs> so do you, so, okay, so just. But if he's saying he's like, if it's like a video saying, oh, I'm gonna lift 495 and he does it, it was at the, prem I didn't watch no, the, it. No, the premise know. was he was demonstrating proper deadlift. Okay, form. then who fucking cares? Bingo, that was my exact point. And he also- He wasn't saying I'm about to make my, you know, personal best record and- He, he was wasn't pulling a fucking Castleberry. Right, so who cares? Yeah. 
Yeah, I get it. Maybe that's all he had access to at the time. But but the thing is, you know what? It's what society wants. Like the people who photo, dude. Kai Green got caught photoshopping. Kai Green got caught making himself bigger. Kai Green. Yeah. Kai Green, one of the best bodybuilders in the world of all time. I'm gonna say top ten. I had him in my top ten. I had him in my top ten. So what's really insane? Ooh, he actually did state how much he'd been lifting. Oh. So, mm-hmm. well, there See, goes your yeah. argument, Katie. There goes my argument. Fucking Karen. Um, <laughs> I'm not. I know that's that's a bad word. That's like the c word. Why would you call me that? Imagine how it would be to have the name Karen. Is there any Karens in here right now? That'd be horrible. Uh, I don't think they're liking that that it's used. Uh, people named Karen are not liking that it's now derogatory. Well, I mean, but, I've been a Mark my whole time. Yo, that's a buster ass Mark. I'm like, oh, why are you saying that about me? <laughs> Never heard that. You never heard that in hip hop, Buster Ass Mark? No, honey. A mark. I mean, you got a mark on your back, you're a snitch, whatever. You're just not not good like me. So, anyway, so, I mean, but the thing is, at the end of the day, I think that um, we we literally encourage people to do fake stuff because it's never enough. We watch movies and TV shows. It's all fake people. It's all like, like we're a, a society that likes watching fake stuff. So. Yes, someone said that he said he was lifting that certain amount of weight, so that's kind of... But, but the thing is, people act like this is new to social media. I remember yeah. the first time I was at Weeder Publication, I remember I came home, I told you about it. Like, Gunther Schlarkamp was one of the... He beat Ronnie at the show of strength. But, and that cover afterwards, we, they were literally like... So they were, I was in the, pho, the Photoshop room or the airbrushing room, and they were literally the art department. Where they had a gap. He had like a nice divot in his chest, and they were, I watched him fill it in. And um, I remember the editor at the time, Vince Scalici, was like, this is about, I mean, we're about 80% real here, but the 20%, people want to see perfection. They don't want to see a gap in someone's chest. So what you see isn't always what you get, you know? I mean, that's my opinion. My opinion is people want to see it. They want to see fake asses. Right. They want to see fake tits. They want to see no wrinkles. Like, dude, like- Don't I, watch this channel. Dude, I mean, I get so much shit. Like people, be, people are like you look old. Have you seen me next to another forty-year-old soccer dad? I look like I'm fifteen compared to those motherfuckers. Bottom line is, everybody in fitness is. Oh, come on, you want to really compare me to the 15. soccer dads? It was in a hyperbole, but I look at least five years younger, okay. right? So at the end of the day, we have this fake sense of what fitness should be, and when you get people who are real like us, they and we're actually aging, and they're oh. actually aging. Not everything's real. Um, <laughs> yeah, Katie has fake tits, but that's because after, that. after the <laughs> second kid, like they really looked like lopsided flapjacks. Like they were fucked up. I mean, it was like one was here, one was there. They were kind of deflated. A, um, breast surgeon tell me I have the least amount of breast tissue she's ever seen in anyone. So that would be why I decided to buy some. And, and FYI. Yeah, God bless them. I've had a blast with those things. Talk about return on investment. <laughs> I'm like, all the time. But it made our marriage better. I'm not going to lie. Like, you having those boobs made our marriage better. It's much more uh, recreational. It's more balancing of my figure. <laughs> I'm a little bottom heavy. And I like when they bounce. <laughs> it's great. I like them. I'm, okay. I'm, a, I'm a huge fan. Sorry for changing the subject there. Okay, so <laughs> that was our opener. And we could go on, on on that. But I just like to kind of break the ice and go over what's hot in fitness and have something to put on the title. But any guy, anyway, guys. Hey, dude, it's, it's my man. Okay. Malcolm Flex. Yeah. Yeah, it did. So anyway, he's he's the dude. He actually had a video go viral by telling people not to come riot in Alabama. He literally threatened to beat up every rioter, <laughs> and I and I believe he would have. But anyway, I so, like the dinner I cooked tonight. It was phenomenal. It was. She cooked these meatballs and like. So I would call them like Asian meatballs, and then like, well, I copied a HelloFresh meal, but I canceled HelloFresh because now we're in the house and I don't need to have. It's expensive. Yeah, I mean, it was three meals for like $105 delivered, and it wasn't enough food for all of us. So usually Mark would not eat it or whatever. So now I've basically taken the recipes and kind of adapted them to, you know, bigger quantities. So that's how I made it. I made like these Asian meatballs with zucchini and carrots and Fake rice. Fake tits, and she could cook. Anyway, um, so yeah. All right. she's mine. So anyway, so let's get to some questions, guys. We broke the ice. Okay, what's, Anything you want to ask. What's new in the works for MTS and Ambrosia? So Ambrosia oh, Ambro- oh my God, Ambrosia. Ambrosia's in vitamin t- shop. Let me tell you about Ambrosia. We have peanut butter, 
And jelly Okay, we got the plata, peanut butter jelly Which top. we need some. Um, it's coming in, so I announced it on my story, but I'm gonna do a video. We're gonna make some shakes with it. I wanna make a whole bunch of shakes because it is good. It has actual real freeze-dried strawberries. That's what we need to get back to doing during the day because I don't have an appetite for lunch. I have no a, appetite a veggie anymore. shake with planta. No, not even, we don't even veggies. Let's put raspberries and blueberries. Well, and, not veggies. I like spinach in it. Okay, spinach is a veggie. I don't eat really. Right, that's what I said. Veggies you said not veggies, I like spinach. No, you said not veggies, let's do berries. And I, oh, did I say not veggies? I don't know. Are you okay? No. She needs to stop doing meth. No, um, I've been unpacking all day. <laughs> so, so, um, cooking. so, so, yeah, we do have, so, okay, I'm not done. Then we have this extra special, um, that new product, this extra special MCT coming under Ambrosia that's going to be first to market. That is awesome. So, that's Ambrosia. As for MTS, obviously, we have multiple outright flavors. Wow, look at that. Yeah, we got three outright flavors. We got we the have, ruckus, ruckus got launches. New, new ruckus. Some fuel flavors. Oh and, yeah. And I'm actually taking one of our best selling products and making it even better. We've been hard at work. I've been working more hours than I've worked in the last two weeks. No, I've been working a lot. I've been working. Haven't I been working a lot? Yeah. I'm and then we've got two other flavors of outright bar. Well, one for sure. I know we're gonna nail with this next um, test batch, but it's gonna be the final. And then another. Um, seasonal one that we're working on. We'll see how that turns That's out. That's four flavors for sure and hopefully six or seven if we do it right. Yes. Yes. And um, by the way, someone, I'm going to take care of this, vegan bars. They are, we have two, actually three vegan varieties. Correct. I think that's all we need. Honestly, they're, they're not yeah, that seen great as sellers. Yeah, I've messages where people are like, make all of your flavors in vegan, but there are. And they cost more to make. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just, not, yeah. Maybe eventually like one more, I would think would be. One okay. more. I think we'll get one by the end of the year. Maybe if we another sunflower time. seed, but when I have to check how sales are doing on those. I would like to, see. sunflower seed. I haven't checked. I haven't done a report. You know what? We have yeah. to do some numbers this week. Yeah, um, when, when I'm in the office on Wednesday with Chad, we'll put together all the numbers and company. Uh, yeah, company so plans. I guess feedback would be if you want another sunflower bar, what flavor would you want? What should we do? I mean, because it's such a you know niche, more natural bar. It has a very distinct flavor, which is I, I think really like it. Cranberries go good in that though. No, be tart. Yeah. No, I was well. If, mm. Right, I wasn't move. thinking a new flavor. I was saying take one of the existing peanut butter flavors and make it. A, uh, but the idea of the sunflower bar was that it was all allergen free. So if we did something like cookies and cream, it would be a sunflower, basically for someone who's allergic to nut products, but wanted cookies and cream. See what I'm going with? I see it. Okay. I see it. So <clears throat> give us feedback. Yeah, yeah. How to like... make tuna, canned tuna taste better. Um, uh, Mark used to put mustard in it, didn't he? Like way back in the uh, day. That was when I was so... I relish? Be... Relish. Canned tuna relish. How about just yes. don't eat, you don't have to eat tuna. Why don't you just Mayonnaise, eat Mayonnaise, but that's not healthy. Eat, don't eat canned tuna. It's mm. fucking nasty. Like, I, I would rather be fat than Seasonings. eat that shit. No, fuck that. Canned tuna is nasty. It's like dried vagina. I it's haven't horrible. had canned tuna in years. I used to crave that with one of the kids when I was pregnant with them. Like, tuna sandwiches. All right. Um, <clears throat> Sasha, I'm laughing too. You're probably... You probably don't, Katie Rolls, eyes, uh, LMAO, something we talked about before. Yeah, before, PS, yeah. P.S., you're a saint. Women like you keep the crazy. She's the greatest. Mind. She's the greatest. I mean, my wife is the greatest in the world. Like, she is good. She put up with me, and I'm, I'm constantly like this. Like, you guys don't understand. Mm -hmm. Like, this is, like, I was, what was like, I was going off about something, and she's just like, fuck. You know, I'm always going off, and then uh, the funny thing is, like, what really gets me mad is that she, she sometimes gets mad when the dog talks. Like, she doesn't want to hear what he's saying. All dogs matter. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to get us fucking killed. That's what you're going to do. Ruckus, where are you? He's out. He's asleep. He has <laughs> nothing to say he right now. He went on two walks today. He's done. Yeah. Um, why doesn't he just prove he can do it? Legit. Good question. Talking about Jeff. You know what Jeff actually offered to? And he offered that if he didn't do it, he would give the person who challenged him a million dollars. Whoa. But if he did do it, that person would have to get rid of their YouTube channel, which I'm guessing, because these people don't have real fucking jobs. Yeah, they do YouTube for a living. It, that, that's like, that, that's, that's putting your money where your mouth is. Because yeah. I don't even have a million dollars, man. I'd have to sell my body. And it would take a lot of tricks to turn that one, man. That'd be a lot of, I'd be walking crooked for a while. Just <laughs> Right, right, fake re-agreed Katie. He actually stated how much he's been lifting. Dude, I ain't gonna lie. That dude is an impressive physical specimen. And let me tell you something about Athlean X. I don't think he's on drugs. 
He looks like, here's what I was saying. So Katie, here's what I said in my video I did the other day, cause you don't watch my shit. So check it out. Like my daughter plays with professional athletes from Europe, professional soccer players every day. And on Friday they had a scrimmage, they had shirts versus skins. Now the dudes with their shirts off didn't look that much like worse than Jeff. These were pro athletes, but they weren't physique athletes. They didn't give a shit about their, right, their bodies, they but they were just in shape. These are guys who probably get done training and go and get some, you know, some Chick-fil-A. <laughs> yeah, not Chick-fil-A. They're, they're not that unhealthy, but I mean, you know, they're, they're athletes. You know what I mean? He looks like an athlete and um, he's just a good looking fucking athletic dude who lives his life training and looks a certain way and knows that every day he's going to be filming a fucking YouTube video with his shirt off. Mark these days is much more respectable than Chad, but there's a guy in here named Chad. No, no, he's talking about the names. Chad is a, a oh. fucking, anno like a Karen. It's a oh. male Karen. Oh, because I was thinking, like, why would it's they a male Karen. about Chad from our it's chat? A, it's a, like it's a male Karen. It's nothing against Chad. Oh, did, does Chad know his name is? No, Chad doesn't know that. No. <laughs> he's a redheaded Chad. <laughs> I guess it would be a new introduction to water weight. Yeah, it would. I mean. Uh, I mean, I don't hold water and I'm on test. I don't I don't think it would. You're not hood like me, LMAO. Yes, she isn't. I needed this entertainment right now. Well, I'm sure I always tune into your lives. Thank you, man. We appreciate everybody tuning in. We hope we're going to do more of them. We have the office done. 15, yes. Mark, go you. Yeah, no, he doesn't look 15. I don't look 15. Not at all. No, I don't look 25. Rich, right? Probably Rich, 35 at best. Rich Piana said... Rich Piana, you can say whatever it takes now. He's gone now and he looks good, but whatever it... Takes. Well, I think he's saying that Rich Piana said do whatever it takes, but then he died. Right. Okay. Which is factually true. Chocolate peanut, chocolate chip peanut butter outright bars are amazing. Keep up the good work. Yes. Thank you. Uh, new to your channel. I love working out with bands and will most likely continue onward with them. What do you think about combining the two for constant resistance through the exercise? Good idea about combining the two. Well, I mean, we do like press with bands. I've posted many videos with that. Band resistance is great to add two weights. Um, to be honest with you, I have done bands like four times since gyms opened, but I've been going so damn hard that my body just can't recover through more uh, resistance stimulus past the weights I do. Mark, you and Rich Piano are my favorite natties. That's my dude. <laughs> well, I guess it's just me now, huh? Okay, PB and Jelly Outright Bars. If someone can tell me how you can put jelly in a bar that's going to be on a shelf and not turn to mushy nastiness, then let us know. But there's Other than no, freeze-dried fruit. There's no, like... <clears throat> it would be soggy and nasty yeah. and fucking... It, it would, would have to be refrigerated, hands. and that's not what the outright no, bar is. No, it's not going to work. And there is no, like, I've looked, trust me, any kind of ingredient that will simulate jelly that would work in the bar so no it's not gonna happen it's unfortunately not gonna happen it, w it would be a disaster how about you get an outright bar and you dip it in some jelly yeah that's a great idea great idea um <clears throat> My vote is for berries. Okay, here's the thing. Rob's Red Mill made a PB&J vegan bar. Again, it's not the outright bar. Our technology doesn't, it's not a sandwich bar. It's not a fucking, it's not, it's not a, it's not an extruder bar. It, it's a, yeah. it's a baked bar. Because, I yeah. mean, it, it would have to be swirled in and that, it's such a big batch that it we make, work. it wouldn't work, I don't think. I mean, no. we could get jelly flavoring, maybe. That's just fruit flavors. That's just fruit flavors. Yeah. Um... And here's the new one. How about peanut butter and banana? We have a banana walnut. We have banana walnut, and that's peanut butter banana, so it's not really new. I mean, so, uh, it's basically everything's peanut butter something. <laughs> more vegan flavors. I know y'all mentioned vegan flavors are in less in demand, but yes, vegan. We, we, we'll look into it. Like, we need to review numbers. We need to run numbers. Um, I mean, again, they're more expensive, but we can do smaller runs, so yeah. we'll look into it. Uh, I understand flaxseed. What about it? To put it in the bar. Nah, I mean, Why? there's plenty of fat. Plenty of fat yeah, in that bar. We don't, bar. Need, we don't need to add more fat. Sunflower seed is very good. Um, it is. It's a very different taste. It doesn't taste like peanut butter or almond butter, but it's it's really good. I haven't had one in a while, so that reminds me. That's also, you have to realize internationally, since those bars, the almond and the, and the sunflower, they cost more. A lot of international sh people, it's out of their price range. Right. So international is a huge part of our business now with Australia and the UK and Europe. So we have to factor that in as well. Because when we come out with a new bar under Outright that's peanut butter, they're able to afford it, whereas they don't pick up a lot of the vegan varieties. Um, already the white chocolate cranberry. 
German mustard from Whole Foods is the go. For the tuna. Yeah, I get that not for the outright bar. <laughs> Dead, <Jerry. laughs> I don't think he's using TRT. He doesn't look like he's ever holding water. TRT doesn't necessarily cause water gain. I don't hold water. I bought his program, but I have range of motion limitations. A lot of his exercises I can't physically do. I'll be real. Um, you know, Jeff's a smart dude, <laughs> but I've seen some of his programs. I've looked, I've seen it, but half the shit I wouldn't waste. It's just too fucking too much thinking. You know what I mean? I don't know if that sounds like I'm a meathead because I kind of am. But like when you're like, okay, you want a 12.4 degree angle on your tricep press downs and you never see anybody doing that in the gym. Like, you know what I mean? Like, although we do a lot of very, very, very specific, like when you pull down with your lats, you do this. But um, some of this stuff is a little over the top for me. But I think he's a great guy. I think he's great. I will check out that Bob's Red Mill though and see what they use mm. for the jelly mm. and that just see. Um, yeah. Because I remember there used to be, like, I'm thinking, like, Nutrigrain bars, right? They had, like, a jelly mm -hmm. filling. So yeah, but it's a different but technology. But it's a different technology mm -hmm. where it sandwiches it ends in. Prunes, uh, that would be the outright poop bar. <laughs> yeah, I think that goes uh, goes away from The geriatric home. division. Yeah, I don't think <laughs> we're going to do I don't think we're going to do that one. Mark Lobliner is an underdog, and I love his hard work, work ethic. He's an inspiration for me, well, I got accepted to graduate school for nursing. Wow, that's good. Graduate school, man. I never did that. <laughs> I never never did that. I'm like, oh, I got, got a couple of these. I got, got a piece of paper. I'm ready to go. Sunflower seed butter bars are softer, and I like it every once in a while. It's different. Yeah, same. Same. I eat them probably twice a week. Um, Chicago, Chicagoian. Is that how you say it? Chicago? It's like Chicago. I, I don't know. I, don't I just know. say. I just College, say. Someone from Chicago. I escaped. College student here, interested in the sports nutrition industry, and figured it would be a good opportunity to directly connect with you. Is MTS Tiger Fitness open to unpaid internships? We are, but you would have to be in Loveland, Ohio. We actually just our, our intern just left, mm -hmm. um, so she graduated, mm -hmm. and she's going on to other things. So we do. Mm -hmm. um, Internships, we like to pay you. It's, it's usually we like to pay people when they work. It's kind of like cool to do that. Some colleges, if you have to have an internship, you're not allowed to get paid. What? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, that's I mean, bullshit. That's thing. We're gonna have to just give you free bars or something. But no, um, I don't if, know. if you live in the Loveland, Ohio area, we do do internships. We do. We do do. We've had many. We've had. Several. We've, had, we've had several. Didn't ten, our dozen. graphic designer start as an intern? Our old, old one, yeah. One, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. We've not had Jason. <laughs> we, yeah, Jason, not an intern. Although I treat him like a Lewinsky. Uh -huh. <laughs> Go macro makes sunflower seed bars. I agree, it's a distinct taste. Yeah, it's sunflower seed butter. Very so distinct. It's different tasting than peanuts. Why are COVID nineteen cases in Illinois going down? But... While they're going up in Republican areas, simple. There's more testing. And because there were different spikes in different areas, we're going to have COVID-19 testing. We're going to have COVID-19 increases. My worry is the only point of it, we're not going to get, we can't just sit inside till all flus and viruses and coronaviruses go away. We have to sooner or later enter into the real world. Um, you know, so what, what damage did that do to the economy? And also how many people left Illinois leaving a huge void in the taxes? If you look at, in, in, the, in the taxes, I mean, if you look at Illinois, they got 20% people living, leaving the state. People can't give their houses away. So you gotta weigh the good and the bad. And also just, I, I go over the statistic every time, but in the UK, 35,000 people go in to get checked for cancer every month. It went down to 5,000. That doesn't mean 30,000 people didn't get cancer. That means that 30,000 people's cancer advanced and they could have died. So just because we have 115,000 deaths from COVID-19, many of them coming from nursing homes from states like New York and Michigan, forcing nursing home to take in COVID-19 patients. The reason that the case are gonna go up is testing and also because people are just getting it. It is what it is. And people are going to the hospital. And here's another reason, this is actually a huge issue. Nobody talks about, um, Alex Borenson talks about this on Twitter, is because people are going to the hospital for things they weren't going to the hospital for during the lockdown and getting tested and being asymptomatic COVID-19 carriers. So basically the reason is, is that more people are going to the hospital and more people are getting tested for COVID-19. So if I had the sniffles during lockdown, I'm like, fuck that, I'm not leaving this house. But if I have the sniffles now, I'm gonna go to the hospital and I'm gonna be like, I have the sniffles, doctor. And he's gonna be like, 
Oh, well, we're testing everybody. So here's your COVID-19 swab. By the way, if you have it, we get some extra cash. So let's go ahead and test this thing. Swab the nose, boom, you have COVID-19. All we should, we should not care about COVID-19 cases. We should not even look at those numbers. What we need to look at is hospitalizations and death. Those are the only two numbers that should matter. And even with the death part, we need to look at is can our hospitals handle it? Because again, even the best health health experts in the world, if they're not pandering, will tell you that you can't simply wait out a virus. You can't simply stay indoors. And also we're not really locking down. People, as long as people still go to Walmart, as long as people still go out, as long as people still go to Home Depot, as long as people still go to COVID, dude, it's still, fucking there. And when we, sooner or later, when we come back out, it's going to still fucking be there. And if we're waiting for a vaccine, you also have to realize the flu has a vaccine and we still lose up to 80,000 people. In, in 2017, we lost 80,000 people to the flu. So at the end of the day, and now COVID is about the length of a flu season. So as the CDC themselves said, COVID-19 is essentially the equivalent of a bad flu season. So my answer is, I don't give a fuck. If everybody has COVID, what I care about is can our hospitals keep up with it? Or else we're just shutting down businesses, ruining lives. We're going to kill the economy beyond our recognition. Our, our, we can't afford to do it. We just can't afford to do it. So I give a fuck. And, if, and it, look, here's the deal. If you're still for lockdowns, I'm going to say this from the bottom of my heart. We just can't be friends. Anybody who believes that lockdowns are the way, we're never going to agree on anything. Like if Katie was pro lockdown, I'd be like, it's time to end this shit. I can't fucking deal with you. If you still think locking it down is the way to go, I respect your opinion, but I just don't want to talk to you. I just, I want to go our separate ways. Just get the fuck out of here. Here's half of everything. Fuck, have the house. Just don't talk to me again. No offense. I think lockdowns are the way. <laughs> if that's the case, then let's lock this shit down. No more. Uh, been a supporter of Mark from his first videos when he used to read supplement reviews in front of the Tiger Fitness ba banner. So proud of you, man. Oh my God. That means you're old AF too. <laughs> look at this verdict. Look at this fucking wrinkle. Is it on this side? Which side's it on? It's right. These diagonal. I have diagonal fucking wrinkles. That's like, from sleeping too much during the COVID lockdown. His face was smushed on the The fuck is that? Uh, what's your current training? Hi, Thomas. What are you eating? Uh, here. Come Thomas here. eats. Come, Come here. here. Come here. Everybody wants to say hi to you. Everyone wants to say hi and see your snacks. Okay, so Thomas will Thomas. take... Wait, wait, let me show you what Thomas... You got to come in between us. Okay, this is Thomas's snack. Okay, this is this is the life right here. Thomas is the skinny legend. Look at this. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. <laughs> Whoa! Look at that! <laughs> Did he get into my medicine cabinet? Holy crap, dude! Okay, Marcus, you want some Pop-Tart too? <laughs> Those are good. Those are fucking delicious. Man, cookies and cream out right bars are still better. <laughs> what are we talking? Oh yeah, lockdown. So All we're right. getting a divorce. Okay. Um, what's your current training split? Macronutrient intake and take on performing low intensity, steady state cardiovascular work immediately after a workout. Hold on, we're gonna that's have to read 20, a couple. Okay. That's okay, 20 questions in one. Training split. Monday is back thickness. Tuesday is shoulders and arms. Wednesday is quad day. Thursday is off or or whatever, cardio, you know, stretching. Um, Friday is hamstrings and lats. Saturday is chest and arms. Sunday are squats and a little bit of arms. Um, macronutrient intake. Um, I believe I'm around, let me think, 400. I, so I dropped them a little because I wanted to be a little more lean and I was tired of overstuffing myself for summer. So 400 carbs, 300 protein, and 100 fat. And take on performing low intensity, steady state cardiovascular work immediately after a workout. If you want to do low intensity, there's no reason why you shouldn't if you're going to do low intensity cardio. As a business owner, what do you think about the idea of opening a franchise gym right now? Might be possible to get in at a lower cost due to Corona. I am, um, I don't want to offend any of my franchise friends. I, I have a lot of friends who own franchises. I'm anti-franchise because you're paying a licensing fee and you still have to pay for all the shit. And honestly, it's and so competitive. It's your... so competitive. You don't get any price breaks you wouldn't get on your own because they want your money anyway. So my opinion would be, don't do a franchise. If you have the money, if you have 500 grand to start a gym, independently owned. That's my opinion. I don't, I don't think, you should, like what's the value in gold's gym anymore? 
Like, what is the value in that name? There's no value in the name. I know so many people who cut their ties with Gold's Gym. Also, CrossFit, you wanna know why everybody, nobody was really mad, I mean, people were mad, but nobody was really that mad at the whole Glassman saying Floyd 19, which is fucking stupid, by the way, insensitive and just retarded. Um, but I've talked to probably a dozen CrossFit gym owners they were just happy that they didn't have to pay the fees anymore and they get out of their contract. Mm -hmm. People are waiting for Glassman to fuck up so they can end that contract. <laughs> and it, it is what it is. Isn't it three grand a year? Three grand a year, which for CrossFit is a lot of money. Good day, Mark. I met your MTS athlete, Barbarian Hack. This dude is a beast and he introduced me He's to the, the Sunflower best. Outright Bar. Super epic. He's the best. Uh, what's up, Mark? And hello, Katie. Hello, Extreme Living. Much respect. What is co Why is COVID nineteen cases going down in Illinois? We already read that one. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I just I, I read but that yeah, while yeah. you were reading the other one. He yeah. asked. Okay, definitely true. BS in sports <laughs> science, and my internship was unpaid. See, I told you some schools you can't have paid. That's school. so fucked up, man. I think you should get paid. So, yeah, I remember when I went to college, it was you could do one that was unpaid, but I found one that was paid. I worked at JD Power Associates. My paid, internship like, was money. unpaid, but I did gay for pay on the side. Oh, does COVID nineteen really <laughs> matter at this point? Um, COVID-19 matters because the fucking tyrants in government want to shut us down again for a fucking virus. It's fucking bullshit with less than 1% fucking death rate. It's fucking bullshit. I am so angry that anybody even thinks that lockdowns are the answer because I can't fathom or empathize with that line of thinking. Looking at all the variables, all the new data we have, to think that lockdowns are the answer is, you know what, fuck yourself. I can't take it anymore. I can't take the ignorance any fucking more. We have all the data. At the beginning, I get it. Oh my God, I'm scared. We got parents at our club who won't even fucking, who, our kids are literally in, practicing in fucking boxes, like fucking bunnies. And like, you're sitting there, <laughs> And you're sitting there like, and some of the parents are like, well, this is great, they're staying safe. I'm like, bitch, they're hugging their teammates at the end of the practice, then they're going in your car, you dumb shit. Carpooling. <laughs> you fucking idiot, like you fucking Karen fucking moron. Mark, what's your opinion on what's happening in Seattle? Cops can't defend themselves anymore. Okay, so, okay, that's the gonna, autonomous zone. Yeah, I know, it's uh, gonna be a long answer. No, it's not gonna be a long answer. I would talk about my dick, but damn, bitch, that'd be a long story. But anyway, that was Lil Wayne, by the way. So <clears throat> my initial reaction is fuck the liberal cities, let them burn. Let them learn their own lesson. Let them have this little hippie fest where they have armed people and let them eat themselves. They're building fucking gardens on cardboard boxes for fuck's sakes. <laughs> but then I realized I own a business in the shithole of California. We have a warehouse that we are a part of in California. Okay, what if someone took over Costa Mesa like that, which isn't far-fetched, it's California, and California's like, yeah, just go ahead, do what you do. And our business was, was within that. I'd be pretty mad that I was paying taxes for the government, for the police to defend me, protect me, and, and then they let some fucking little 140-pound hippies take over my streets. And I'd be like, well, fuck that. First of all, that shit would never happen here because we'd shoot the fuck out of them. They tried in Nashville. The governor's like, uh, time out, bros. <laughs> no. So here's the problem. Um, it sets horrible precedent federally and on the state level. Also, since Antifa has been labeled officially a terrorist group, the police chief of Seattle is saying, we want to negotiate and talk about terms. We're not supposed to negotiate with terrorists. That's our national thing. Obama said so many times, we don't negotiate with terrorists. If they are indeed a terrorist group, we need to go just fuck them up. I'm talking like, just go in there, whoever doesn't fucking give up peacefully, let them be a fucking martyr. At this point in time, we can't, we can't have tax paying businesses and citizens be without police support. And if they want to do that, they need to get a refund. Like are these taxpayers in Seattle, are they getting a refund on the time the police turn their back on them? That's what people, people talk about all this bullshit about like, oh, let the left eat themselves. Well, what, what about, I own a business in California. I don't want the left to eat me. I live here because I fucking hate those so we people. we pay taxes into California. A lot of fucking taxes. And if I'm paying taxes for those business motherfuckers to defend me, yeah. mm -hmm. and what I don't get is these assholes are like, like a year ago, they're like, oh, you don't need guns. You don't need guns because... Well, the police have guns and they'll protect you. Now they're like, defund the police. The fuck? 
What do you want me to do? Fucking talk to them? Now they want social workers to be police officers? Like, what are you going to do? A woman's getting raped? Have you thought about the ramifications of her emotional status of rape? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys out of your mind? Fuck. And nobody's mad. I know Extreme Living's mad. I read his shit. I read your Instagram, bro. You are crazy and I love you. <laughs> He's one of those like, that's it, man. Move out to the country. Get an arsenal. Build a bunker. <laughs> Grow your own tomatoes. I'm all for you, man. I love you. America. Uh, I had totally forgotten about COVID. Oh, man. What is the COVID? I take <laughs> COVID with my mental jewels for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be the worst product name ever. COVID? <laughs> it's kind of like being Karen or Chad, <laughs> except you're COVID. <laughs> what, was, what was the one I was looking at? And Chaz. Chaz is what they're calling the autonomous zone. Mm. Okay. What was the, what did I hear the other day that was the name? Um, well, obviously Corona, Corona beer. Mm -hmm. People, 19% of Americans, I believe it was, thought that Corona beer gave you coronavirus. Wow, that's dumb. People are fucking stupid. Uh, wow, Thomas really has grown. So Thomas is 12, a little over 12. He's growing now. He's finally growing. He's like over 70 pounds finally. But I he think, eats. I think Preston's only like two pounds. Didn't less he eat him. like twelve dinners yesterday and five Some pieces days of pizza? He, some days he oh less at our friend's house. Yeah. I don't keep track of what he was eating, but I'm sure it was a ton. He ate a burger and pizza. Yeah. Dude's on the burger and pizza diet. I like it. He's got abs. Gains. Hey guys, how you doing? We're great. Um, what is when is the new Ruggis release? Uh, I'm printing labels and then it takes like probably two months, don't you think? I'd say eight weeks. That's two months basically, honey. Thanks. Yeah. He's not the math guy, by the way. What are you talking about? I know all about numbers, <laughs> sales numbers. That's all I do. Hello, Mark and Katie. You guys are the best. Just saying hello from way up in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Oh, man. What's up, Calgary? Honestly, I was shocked that CrossFit is an industry. CrossFit? revitalize the fitness industry like crossfit got middle-aged people training again like crossfit has done so much fitness anybody who hates on crossfit and has caused lots of injuries but but they've done more good than bad i'm a crossfit trainer a i will on that? i will suplex is that a your fact? ass what can you back that fact up there's yeah i'm just curious. there's more I'm people who've thinking. trained crossfit and gotten in shape Okay. Millions of members than fucking people who've gotten injured. Okay. I will body slam you onto this fucking table. Is that CrossFit? <laughs> I have developed <laughs> metatarsalgia. That sounds hard. And the hard. bones on the bottom of my feet hurt. Any recommendations, especially to keep pushing on lower body days when heavy weights on feet hurt? Flat foot. Flat feet, bones. Okay, so what leg exercises don't require pushing on the bottom of your feet? Leg well, extensions. Yeah, leg but those curls. are closed chain movements. Those yeah. are open chain movements. I don't necessarily. I know, but I don't know your limitations. That's something to ask your doctor. Some more like Dr. Scholl's inserts. I don't know. Pillows. I don't know. Have <laughs> found a gym that has month to month membership fees? Our our gyms month to month. Yeah, a lot of gyms do, and they just charge more. So. Yeah, as they should. Yeah, my point exactly. My internship was at the YMCA, the unpaid one, I think. It should nah, YMCA, yeah, they're a bunch of cheap bastards. Well, 100% uh -huh, employed. Dun, 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 Biggest dun, 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 dun. use. Dude, I, Young have, man. I might need, like, reading glasses. Mm. I'm having trouble here. YMCA, it's fun to stay at the YMCA. I have on video, I finally caught it, him laugh snorting. You didn't post it? I didn't. No, I think I still. I was going to share it. I don't care. Oh, okay. It was a funny situation. Why was I laughing? You were singing a song about from a certain art. I'm not going to say his yeah. name, but we found out we that have our a lot neighbor, of rich fuckers in our neighborhood. We have a lot. We have a lot of music industry and social influencer type people and stuff like that in our neighborhood. And so he found out someone lives in our neighborhood and he was extremely excited. A musician of a song I and used to sing as a kid. And he was singing it very loud. While we were on our walk. Yeah, so it was we'll amazing. just leave it at that. It was amazing. Like, I was like, our neighbor's like, oh yeah, and such and such. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? We were at their house yesterday. We were chilling, right? Mm -hmm. Kids are playing. And they're like, oh, well, then we have so-and-so down the street. I'm like, Whoa, whoa, <laughs> shut up. No, you're kidding me. We live next to that guy. I mean, it is, you, everybody would know the fucking guy. Everyone would know the song. Everybody, no matter how old you are, would know the fucking song. Okay, he's so excited. I think he might like be a creeper. And <laughs> so so I, texted, I texted Mike and Sean, and I'm like, bro, you don't know who lives down my street. I'm like, boom.
boom. And then Mike's like, that's fucking awesome, bro. I'm like, he's like, you got to go up to his door and get a selfie with him or something. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> if you let them have this, it will grow. Yeah, he's talking about the Chaz thing. I think, well, Nashville set a great precedent. Um, Mayor, Mayor Cooper is a pussy. He's a piece of shit. But, um, but our governor, Governor Bill Lee, was like, um, no, no. Not even going to happen. No, sorry. When the looting starts, the shooting starts. If you come to the... That's why they haven't come to the burbs. You know, we're having this conversation. Like, um, I actually was talking to my, my uh, barber about this today. She was like... Um, she lives in the country. She's like, yeah, we heard about some looting and stuff. She's like, everybody's got their, their IRs. Everybody's fine. If you come into the suburbs, there will be blood on the streets. And it won't be ours. Period. It is what it is. Everybody's fucking armed out here. Like, I don't know how it is in California, but in California, I don't remember that many people having guns like neighbors. Um, Illinois, no. Tennessee, mm -hmm. I have yet to meet one person who doesn't have at least it two firearms. It doesn't believe in, yeah, exactly. And we've talked to a lot of people. We are very talkative people. Property tax refunds for school closures. Well, they were, a lot of schools are still doing full curriculum, Zoom calls, hours a day. If I was in Illinois, I'd shout for it, but I'm so happy to be here in Tennessee paying I mean, less. And their costs, like, for maintaining schools and stuff probably didn't go down all that much, right? I mean, oh, it went down tremendously, yeah, I mean, no but damage. they still paid, paid the teachers. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm not, look, I'm not one of those, like, teachers need to make $8 million a year. Now, you know what you're getting into, and you get summers off. And if you, like, in Illinois, the average, you had teachers making 180 grand. Yeah. Because it's public. Um, Teaching PE. Yeah, seriously. Um, at our school, right? Like, 125. 100, yeah. So, like, I'm not, I'm not here to say that teachers need to make $10 million. But we need to pay them, dude, because I learned during this quarantine that we fucking suck as teachers. Mm -hmm. And even with our property tax... The private schools out here, holy shit. Brentwood Academy is $25,000 a year. Plus, that, that's minimum. That's your tuition. I 25. Mean, there's, yeah. yeah. I would, no, my kids are not worth that. I'd rather send my kids to fucking Compton High School, fucking Morningside, than go to, fuck that. You could fend for yourself. Just well, learn think about how to, if you have four, if, just for high school, if you have four kids at, say, at 25 a pop, that's a hundred grand for each kid. We got three kids. That's three hundred grand just for high school. Dude, I could buy like three Lambos. <laughs> um, why are people <clears throat> retracting comments? That's rude. No, I read them. They weren't bad. They just oh. probably we answered them. Oh, y'all are the greatest. Do you have any advice for changing your palate to eat healthier foods for someone who eats junk? You can't change your palate, dude. You just got to eat healthier foods yeah. and maybe learn like how to cook better. Like if you, like, here's the thing. So I'm going to, I'm going to give a plug right now. So I am flexpromeals.com. They, um, they send me meals and I also pay for some. Um, so they send me 20 meals and I pay for more. So flexpromeals.com coupon code is low blinder for 20% off flexpromeals.com coupon code low blinder. Now every other meal service is good. Like they're really good. I thought icon was good. Midwest meals is great. This is so good. So my, my advice is find ways to cook better or find a good meal prep service that makes stuff a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Flexpromeals.com, by the way. They're, I'm telling you, man, I'm not shitting butter beans. Like, they are so good. <clears throat> um, bikers for Trump are planning to reclaim the Chaz Zone on July 4th. I heard that they're being joined by Hell's Angels and the Mongols. And I know all about Hell's Angels and the Mongols because I watched every season of Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> And if that truly does happen, <laughs> Flex Pro Meals coupon code is Lowbliner, L O B L N E R. If that the truly. The backyard barbecue is delicious. The Kung Pao chicken, <clears throat> the sesame chicken, the skinny fajitas, the uh, brisket macwidge. So, so, anyway, so I've actually known people in these biker gangs. And. Um, really? Hmm? Oh. My mom, in Simi Valley. Okay. So, my mom was actually, next to her cookie store, there was a camera shop. And it was owned by a Klansman. And my mm -hmm. mom is a Jew, like Star David on the chest and all that shit. And um, they were good friends. And he was looped into some of these biker gangs. And they're, they're legit. They are legit. Completely legit. So if they decide to go, dude, they don't like cops either. They're just going to go take that land. And the cops can't do shit. Because I'll tell you what, if those people could take over a piece of the city, the Mongols and Hell's Angels could take over America right now. No question, just want to say I love your products. I love you too. They didn't say they love you. They said they love your products. But I am my products. Okay. But someone said you're cute later on and 
it's a dude, so that's kind of weird. I'll take what I can get. It's more than you give me. Right. She gives me no compliments, no respect. <sighs> you have beautiful wrinkles. I love you. She has talked <laughs> shit all the time. I, I, I compliment her all the time. All the time. Do I not? Do I not? Do I not? Yeah. <laughs> Your breast stinks. Do like I? Like brand shades? <laughs> do I not? I always compliment you. Like, you look beautiful, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes. You look beautiful. I always do that. So and beautiful. all you do is talk shit. <laughs> all you do is talk shit. It's fucking terrible. I like, like his big booty. I don't like when he dies. He has a nice butt. <laughs> I'm still going to fart on your head. <laughs> I have I'll one dump right this on your I head. have one right I don't right care there. that you're sitting on my new rug. <laughs> don't you dare. Um, okay. Uh, Mark, you're cute. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Josh Weaver, miss you guys. Hey, we miss you too. Josh, come visit us. Come to Nashville. Why not? The, we're gonna have a guest room next. Yes, week. I ordered a bed and a guest bed, a frame, so it won't have to go on the floor. And we've got some people coming in July and early August, but after that, we need like a guest room calendar, and we like put it on the wall of the calendar uh, of the room. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody wants to come to Nashville. It's the greatest place. Well, not Nashville, but the suburbs of Nashville. Yeah. Nashville's a great city, though. It's happening. Mark, what's your opinion on white people apologizing for being white to Black Lives Matter protesters even washing their feet? I... Whew. So, here's the thing. I, I, at, here's what I told my kids. Because I try to keep my kids... In the, never apologize about your heritage. Exactly. We Be proud of your heritage. heritage. You know what? I am so proud of my Jewish ancestry, and I will die... For the for just just to not forsake the name of my grandfather and those who fought for our freedom, as Irish people who came to this country and were very 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 victimized at the beginning, as Chinese people, as you know Japanese people, and all the contrib every culture in this world has made contributions to society, and if we looked at the bad part of every culture, like if I was black and I hated myself because Africans were involved in the slave trade, they were. Mm -hmm. That's stupid. What I would focus on is all the great inventors, thinkers, and, and phenomenal um, people who have been of, you know, from African descent. As a Jew, I don't look at the fact that, okay, we might have Epstein. Do you, you what want I do every German, uh, German person to apologize to you because your family was killed in Ger the Holocaust? Germans have brought the world great things. They're experts in engineering. Um, they're historically, you know, just a very rich culture. They brought a schnitzel. So, I mean, there's a lot of things that every, there is no reason for anybody to apologize about something some dumb motherfuckers you might be related to 200 years right. ago did. I am not, look, here's the deal. I don't know about your lineage. My lineage has no slave owners. Oh, I'm pretty sure there's probably some in there. Mine? Mine. Oh yeah, you're racist. But <laughs> but me it's not my fault if there my was family, like, I don't have to apologize to anyone. My about family it. is not only on my mom's side, we're first generation, okay? But on my father's <laughs> side, most low blinders aren't even white. My cousins are black. So we have a very um, mixed race, um, integrated family, an integrated name. I will not apologize for what my family might have done back in the past. Everybody should be proud of their ancestry, and you should never have to. I don't have to. I'm not. Preston, come here. <laughs> so, so <laughs> here's the deal. Say hi. My like, if my mom did something stupid, which she's done, I don't need to apologize for something even my mom did because I didn't do it. Right. So I'm not going to apologize for something not mine. But let's, let's say I'm just a normal white guy without without not first generation. I'm, I'm you can fucking kiss my ass. I'm not apologizing for anything I didn't do. Right. I'm not doing it. Right. I'm not doing it. It's just not, I'm not gonna, and I'm not gonna be ashamed of my heritage because I couldn't control that. I wanna look at positive things that my culture brought to society. And you're goddamn right. You know, I God, goddamn before Jew probably isn't the right thing, but you're right. You know what? I've become more and more through all this. This is what I wanna say. Through all of this racial bullshit, which is fucking bullshit I wanna say, we have going on. I have been able to really connect with my Jewish heritage. All the anti-Semitic shit. Dude, I had black people come at me today on Twitter for being Jewish. They were literally blaming Jews for black people's problems. Which, okay, I don't care. Have I ever oppressed anybody? No, 
I've employed people of all skin tones, all religions, all political beliefs, everything. Mm -hmm. I've done my part to make society a better place. And I'm not gonna apologize for shit that some dumb redneck did 250 years ago. Sorry, it's not gonna happen. What about you, Katie? I chimed in when you were talking, I agree. I mean, I've got family members that have been in wars and probably killed people, but that's not on me. <laughs> I didn't do it. No. <laughs> they, you know. Mark, I was in Huntington Beach and I was at a rally and I saw Jeremy Buendia. He's a really mean person, Mark, and he's arrogant. Oh, well, thanks for letting us know. What kind of rally were you at? Mm -hmm. Was it, because I know he's a he's a big, um, I thought that was a big Trump guy, I think. Mark, release another run of the 1776 shirt. We'll trade for hugs for shirts. You know what? We do have to I run another round. Out. We need to run another round because I wear this every day. Maybe make it a little different. So the people already have that one. We'll want the new one. Why don't we do it in a different color? There you go. Like red and blue. How about white and black? What? Make a white shirt with that? Oh, like okay. <laughs> it's like, honey, it's white I and black. I just flip it. <clears throat> um, you already answered. Flex Pro Meals, coupon code Lowblind. All right. Uh-huh. Um, why was JK Rowling canceled? Um, because she said that there are two genders. Yes, that's where our world is coming to. And if I get canceled for thinking that dudes and chicks are different, there's only two genders, fuck it, cancel me. Will it there, is what it is. Will there be college football? I've heard there will be. It looks like it. I know, I know they've started practicing. Good. But I'm not in charge. They didn't ask me. <laughs> oh my God, my girlfriend and I are legit the same as y'all. Sorry. <laughs> that's the main so issue. So you're really depressed about life. All right. That's the main issue I have with the entire Chaz thing. Don't get me wrong. It's funny. But if someone rando can do it with no pushback, then a group of people who know their stuff can take over a city. And also they're a terrorist group. We can't let terrorists take over cities. Like they are a terrorist group. They're a legit terrorist group. Dudes compliment other dudes because he's like the goal we want to look like. Boom. I like that, but Katie does not compliment me at all. You never do. You fucking never do. <laughs> I said your hair looked nice when you, your haircut was good. You never say, I don't want to hear about my hair. I want to hear about my, my sexy body. I told my, you I like your butt. And my large nose. <clears throat> um, JK Rowling was, what'd you say, Preston? He laughed. <laughs> oh, was canceled for her. Comments against transgender women. It wasn't against it. It was literally fucking factual. I read them. What's your thoughts on taking testosterone? If you need it. <clears throat> Daniel Radcliffe said the exact opposite of, of Rowling's comments. Yeah, I, th there are two genders. It, it is what it is. Somebody cut the live off. No, it seems to be working. We're getting Your questions. internet must suck. <laughs> yeah, you should probably, probably get new Wi-Fi. What fish do you recommend for bodybuilding? Whichever one you prefer that fits your macros. But salmon, <laughs> wild caught fish is better based on the fatty acid content. I'm competing in my <clears throat> first men's physique competition on July 11th. Would you have any advice for coming into this mentally prepared since I'm a newbie? Thanks, brother. Well, there's not much to mentally prepare for in physique. You know, just have stage presence. You don't really have to learn posing. You just have to learn your turns and... You know, make sure you perfect. Don't do any of that whole wrist thing. That's that's weird. Um, we always that's do like a bikini thing. That's what it? physique oh. guys do. So don't do that, and just have stage presence and learn your poses or whatever y'all do, and do you'll be do, good to do go. They do the like the booty out, look back. Sort of, okay. but not really. It, 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 basically, just have stage presence and make sure you're lean enough. Sounds like fun. Uh, Mark, what's your opinion on the CDC saying there might be a second lockdown if there's a second wave? CDC can suck a fat dick. Um, I'm tired of the CDC. They are the worst pieces of shit in the world. Like, no, you know, you don't get to make that decision. You don't get sorry. No, get out of here. They do not get to decide when there's lockdowns. The first one was a big mistake and I'll be damned if I sit back for a second one. That's when I get mad. The left are by far the most delusional political party. Yeah, they are. I like your shirt. Why, thank you. I think we're done. Oh. Did you hear about? The shirt? Oh, damn. They were, <laughs> we're literally going as we All right. So Mark has an event on Wednesday in Ohio. So if you guys are in Loveland, Ohio, I will be there. How are you um, guys handling that? Like, are you only letting a certain number of people? No, no. We, we just have them sign waivers. We're good to go. So um, we have 4 to 7 p.m. 
We're going to have a great event at the Tiger Fitness Gym in Loveland, Ohio. It is not our grand opening. We're just gonna have that one night. And we're gonna wait till the, um, we're in different phases, so we don't have to put up all the mouth guards and all that shit at a retail store. So um, that's, that's what's going on then. Nice. Then the next week, the 23rd and 24th, I will be in Atlanta area, hopefully without riots. Um, with the vitamin shop out there. I posted on my social media, on my on my Instagram. I posted that last week. Um, are there any other questions you want to get to before we go? Or yeah, is we it? need to call it a night, guys. It's All right, almost guys. an hour. <laughs> Check it out. Thank you so much for being a part of this. And uh, we will hopefully see you soon next week. That's not a game. <laughs>